Overcoming Porn Addiction, Breaking Free, Part 2. In the sunny town of Light Haven, Marco felt really down. He had stumbled back into watching bad stuff on the internet, and it made him feel sad and hopeless. He met Johnny Boy at their favorite park bench, needing to share what happened. Marco looked really upset when he sat down next to Johnny Boy. Johnny Boy, I messed up. I watched porn again and now I feel horrible, he confessed, looking down at his hands. Johnny Boy put a comforting hand on Marco's shoulder. Marco, it's tough, I know. But remember what the Bible says in Proverbs 24, 16. For though the righteous fall seven times, they rise again. You made a mistake, but that doesn't mean you give up. You can stand up and try again. Marco wiped his eyes, feeling a bit better with Johnny's words. They decided it was a good time to make a stronger plan using some smart steps Marco could follow. Writing down reasons, Marco wrote in his notebook again why he wanted to stop watching porn. It makes me feel bad about myself, and I don't want to feel this way anymore, he wrote. He decided to keep this notebook with him to read whenever he felt tempted. Getting rid of triggers. Marco remembered he had forgotten to delete some old files. They cleared those out together, and Marco set up a new blocker on his phone with Johnny's help. Knowing his triggers. It's usually when I'm alone at home, Marco realized. They planned for him to go to the library to study instead of staying in his room by himself. Finding fun things to do. Marco chose to sign up for the local soccer team. Playing soccer will keep me busy and help me make new friends, he thought, excited about the matches. Talking to a friend. This time, Marco also decided to talk to his coach who was a Christian minister, who he trusted. Sharing his struggles made him feel less alone. Trying therapy, they looked up Christian therapists who could help Marco understand his feelings and make better choices in the future. Praying, Marco and Johnny Boy took a moment to pray together. Marco asked God to free him from his addiction and to remove any bad desires from his heart. God, I trust that you are the only one who can truly make me free, he prayed sincerely. After praying, Johnny Boy suggested another powerful tool. Marco, reading the Holy Bible can also change your mind and make it pure. Marco looked puzzled, but how can the Bible do that? Johnny Boy smiled and quoted Hebrews 4.12. For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. See, the Bible isn't just a book, it's powerful. It can reach deep into our hearts and help us see what needs to change. It can give you the strength and guidance you need. Marco nodded, intrigued by this new idea. He decided to start reading a little bit of the Bible each day to help keep his thoughts pure and his heart strong. As they left the park, Marco felt hopeful. He knew it wouldn't be easy, but with Johnny Boy's support, his new plan and faith in God's help, he felt ready to face the challenge again. Conclusion. Marco's journey reminds us that it's not about how often we fall, but how we rise after each fall that matters. Despite setbacks, we are reassured by God's unwavering love. He is our Father, always ready to embrace us, no matter our mistakes. To overcome challenges like Marco's, a few key steps can guide us back on track writing down reasons for change, removing sources of temptation, recognizing and managing triggers, engaging in positive activities, seeking support, and turning to scripture for strength and guidance. Each step not only helps Marco, but can also help us reclaim control, affirming that with faith and determination, recovery and redemption are always possible. It's prayer time! If you suffer from porn addiction and want to be free, Johnny Boy wants to pray with you. Please speak this prayer out loud as he prays. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you with open hearts, seeking your strength and deliverance. I bind and come against every spirit of lust and addiction that would try to make us bound to watching things we shouldn't be. We declare in the mighty name of Jesus, as you healed the leprosy man, we ask that you heal us from our addiction. And just as you restored the man disabled for 38 years, 
bring healing to us, even if we have fallen for a long time and our minds have grown dark with the shadows of pornography. Lord, cleanse us and make us white as snow, as you have promised. Grant us the strength to rise each time we fall and to walk the path of purity with courage and determination. We place our trust in your mercy and your power to renew our lives. Amen. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Junior Kingdom Warriors. As always, please like and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so that we can continue to bring you and your family more kingdom-focused content like this. Just know, there is nothing that you are facing in life that God can't bring you out of. If you want Johnny Boy and Mama Nay to pray with you about your situation, please either leave a comment below or message them using the contact form on our channel. Until next time, God bless.